Hello Scorpio, welcome to the channel and this is going to be your monthly tarot reading May 2018. So the first card it is showing up, <clears throat> the topic for you Scorpios for uh, May. The second card does expresses things Scorpio can go for in case they want. Third card does shows up the best possible course of action during the month. The, third, the fourth card, excuse me, that shows up the challenges Scorpios are going to face during the month. And the last one does expresses the result of everything or, in other words, the final outcome. So let's see what is the topic for us Scorpios during the month. And we have the um, Knights of Pentacles. So this is going to be our standpoint here. Uh, <clears throat> very successful when it comes to career. It does look like that you're going to find quite of a, a passion during this month. Either this is going to be a project or a new job. It does look like that any actions we exert regarding career and not just career guys, but also relationship, it's going to be quite compassionate and, and they will be defined by the sense of that we truly know what we want. That being said, in case you are single, this could be the new um, the new sweeter, you know, the meeting of a new sweeter that you guys will truly like and they're going to like you as well. And this card could signify um, <clears throat> dating and spending a lot, a lot of time together, etc, etc, because you do find value into this person. And it ca in case it, it is uh, re referring to a uh, existing relationship, and especially if that relationship is, in, is in, in not in a very good shape, then this card points that you and your partner are going to redefine your emotions and your feelings. In other words, you're going to realize that you still love one another. All right. And then uh, when we talk about uh, the, the Knights of Pentacles, it is very important not to rush the situation, not to bruise yourself upon it, and uh, <clears throat> but rather to be slow and steady with your approach. Think twice before you act, guys, and I can guarantee you with the Knight of Pentacles that you will have a lot of success during the month. Now, the second card which expresses things we Scorpio can go for here during the month, and it gets even better and better for what it seems, the full card. And this is the brand new beginning, guys. This is the brand new relationship of yourself, the brand new uh, career, the brand new project as well. Very important here is to be open for everything new. Do do not have biased expectations about what is going to happen, but just hug the fate, guys, and make that leap of fate again toward your brand future. Very important is to give expression to your ideas and do not think the less of those ideas as well, as well even if these ideas are looking a very immature and childish at the start and that they cannot be materialized uh, at a certain point when the idea came to, uh, is coming to your mind but instead guys believe that a certain point in your future is going to happen why because the fool uh, does not scale the pros and the cons right right at the start but the fool is only attracted to the idea itself that being said uh, <clears throat> if your dream is to become i don't know is to become a supervisor into a bank okay but you aren't at this very moment don't drop off that idea guys but start doing something about it like signing yourself for a courses like obtaining education as well as i said passionate actions needs to take place here during the month scorpio and you should not back off uh, your path by any means necessary. The full card could also speak for pregnancy. So you lady uh, Scorpios, if you uh, want to get pregnant, maybe May is your lucky uh, is your lucky month. And as well, the full card it does speaks for a uh, being spontaneous all right being very unpremeditated especially with interactions with others and this is what you need to do here or what you can do to uh, <clears throat> make a, a strong impression of a cheerful person and of someone that can really bring happiness into other people's life 
and then we do have that card which is the best possible course of action we do have the four of swords and as I said slow and steady here we have an addition about contemplating and deliberating upon your next actions now this card points that around you you have a a, a person who can be a pinnacle of your success who can be a, a mentor of yours and you need to take a, a very serious conversations with that person all right or with the society of people as well the four of swords speaks for a, a big deliberations before actually something is happening and as i said in the in the knights of uh, pentacles think twice and here with the appearance of this card it is about think three times guys before you actually make a move because that move can and should be a move of perfection and you can do it so the four of swords also said that due at this month you should not take um attacks if i may say it that way way too personal all right but always seek for a uh, environment that will create comfort in you and as well is gonna give is gonna recharge you with healing energies because the four of swords is also about healing so those who are feeling um you know down lately those who are feeling very exhausted are rather to get recuperated during this month it is likely to get recuperated during this month and then they will face their future with full enthusiasm and also recharged energies and then let's see what we got for challenges here that will be the sun card so sun card as a challenges points that the situations uh, career wise or relationship wise will not get resolved during the month unfortunately guys but uh, from another hand they will start unfolding so what you are after it does seems that or what you will define yourself to be after as a goal is going to have quite of a prolonged um, frame of time to be materialized for what it seems and that could aggravate you that it cannot happen during this month all right that you cannot finalize your project this month that you cannot finalize your relationship during this month but you need to look at it from the bright side all right because the sun card it does points that uh, at this particular moment that a natural unfoldment does takes time all right and everything happens with its uh, when the moment is right and uh, <clears throat> I recently posted in Facebook, in Facebook my formula of happiness because everybody lately is asking me how you can be so, uh, you know, so humble and happy. And uh, uh, here I will say it, Scorpio, well, uh, it is kind of like keep your expectations low, assume nothing and always be prepared for the worst. In other words, have a, a plan B. That being said, this is your standpoint that you need to take on, but, but this by any means doesn't mean that you shouldn't do anything about about things that are, are going wrong against yourself not by not by a long shot it is just guys do what you can and whatever has to happen it will happen because this is a natural unfoldment and you cannot do anything about it but just contribute for its full potential all right either good or bad but in this month is going to be good it's just is gonna take a little bit more time for you Scorpios than you would have liked to now this card also does represents that you may have some difficult of um, settling out disagreements all right with people that um, are bruising themselves upon you lately and also uh, that card may point to some envy you're gonna face either from a competitors excuse me either from a com co competitors or co-workers as well in other words whatever you do you will never be able to please everybody so what I like to say is that you should do something different this month Scorpio please yourself instead all right and then at the at last we do have the final outcome for you and this is from the, the, the Knights of Pentacles you reach the King of Wands and that is the initiation points here with the King of Wands because the King of Wands it is someone who has a high <clears throat> expectations of fate so you kept your expectations low but the natural unfoldment uh, is happening in a such way that actually allows you to have that time a, a big expectations for the situation either for your relationship or for your career and the king of wands is also a, about um, 
now contemplating not for the initial state of how you're going to you know execute your uh, dream all right and execute your goal but it is a contemplation how you're gonna get use or how you will take use of when the goal becomes true so at the end of the month it is not about it the question isn't about is your goal is gonna happen or not gonna happen at the end of the month the question is what happens after the goal materializes. you know what I mean so you Scorpios um, are going to have such a tremendous month guys a lot of turnarounds and these turnarounds will be for the better in the sense of that if you're feeling very unstable uh, anxious as well and threatened well this is all going to change your ma because you're gonna either find your new job you're gonna stabilize your relationship guys or uh, <clears throat> you know you're gonna find a new person that you can create a relationship with it with it is just do not rush it okay just deliberate it very carefully think it through guys uh, even uh, if you have something that baffles you comprehend on it <clears throat> as much as you need because the natural unfoldment of the situation is from a crucial vitality here so you can end up successful at the end of it and so you afterwards have a, a big plans for yourself and not just for yourself but also for the people that are involved with you because the Knights of uh, the King of Wands is also the natural leader so you are going to be uh, praised by many here at the end of this month <clears throat> All right, and many people will want to be at your shoes. They will uh, accolade you, all right, and they will. It's it's a <clears throat> it's a noble envy here, all right. They will not envy you with hatred, but with uh, with happiness in the sense of that um, kind of like you know. Oh gosh, I I I didn't thought that he will be able to reach at that point, and I wish it could be like him. You know, this this kind of a. Um, Envy, it is what we do have here, the noble envy. So, um, yeah, Scorpio, this month is going to be a, a quite of a positive month for us, guys. And with that being said, this was your tarot reading for May 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.